Our national flag belongs to all of us. Our national coat of arms with our national buds inscribed therein is the sacred trust of all our citizens. So it is today. Please, I urge you, let it always be so. As part of this country's transition from colonialism to independence in 1962, the government, through its independence committee, designed and selected a number of key identifiable emblems that have been used to enhance Trinidad and Tobago's identity. Our national emblems reflect the history, values, culture, and vision of our nation. They are sacred and should be duly respected. With this in consideration, the Ministry of National Security encourages citizens to cherish and to hold our national symbols to the highest esteem. TNT's national symbols include the national flag, the coat of arms, and the double Shaconia flower. A coat of arms is traditionally unique to an individual person, family, state, organization, or corporation, and is a heraldic visual design on a shield, show coat, or tabad. The coat of arms of Trinidad and Tobago was designed in 1962 by a designated committee including noted artist Kailai Chang and carnival designer George Bailey. TNT's coat of arms forms the central element of the full heraldic achievement and incorporates important historical and indigenous elements of Trinidad and Tobago. They are the shield, the helm of special design, the mantle which covers the hem, the wreath to hold the mantle in place, the crest, the supports, and the motto. The coat of arms is used on all communication material within the government sector as a means of building a consistent identity. Every government agency charged with the privilege of using the nation's coat of arms is responsible for complying with the guidelines for its usage and will be held accountable for any such breaches. Here is what you need to know about displaying Trinidad and Tobago's coat of arms. All representations of the coat of arms must adhere to a 5mm clearance space on all sides and no design elements are permitted within the 5mm region. The minimum size for presenting the coat of arms of Trinidad and Tobago is 20mm by 20mm. When using it in stack alignment, you must adhere to a 5mm clearance space around the coat of arms. You should observe a 5mm clearance space around the coat of arms when using a strip alignment. Embossed, engraved, and foil presentations of the coat of arms of Trinidad and Tobago are permitted. The coat of arms of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago can stand alone when it is used at its minimum size such as on business cards and miniature promotional items and for embossed, foil, or engraved presentations. The coat of arms should always be placed against a white background. In instances where the coat of arms appears against a colored background, for example on printed material, it must appear in full color and the fonts Ariel and Lucidia Bright are the two main fonts to be used with the coat of arms in printed material. For more guidelines on the usage of our national emblems, please read the National Emblems of Trinidad and Tobago Regulation Chapter 1904 of the Laws of Trinidad and Tobago and the National Identity Guidelines of Trinidad and Tobago. Both documents can be viewed by visiting the National Archives of Trinidad and Tobago under the National Guidelines on the Usage of the National Emblems at 